human has the rights to um, peace. Every human has the rights to live in peace. So do the Palestinians. And um, we come to the protests in solidarity with the Palestinians. Heartened by how many people have consistently turned out. I think this is the biggest protest movement in history all around the world. It's Lebanon, Yemen, it's of course Gaza, Palestine, it's Syria. There's hardly any country that Israel is not aiming for in the Arab world. So we've got to take a stand and the Australian government's completely complicit. Um, for over 12 months we've sustained the longest and potentially the largest anti-war movement uh, in this country's history, which shows that the ordinary people stand against this genocide. They stand against Zionism and Israel's brutality, and they stand against our, country, our government's you know, connection to Western imperialism and their, their, their backing of this genocide. And of course, I'm really happy to have joined the rally here today. What a great scene. It's all fantastic, all loud and out proud for standing for Palestine, Palestinian liberation. I think we've come a really long way, obviously, in horrific circumstances. But, you know, just last week, the National Tertiary Education Union National Council uh, voted up to accept the boycott, divestment and sanctions within the union. You know, we've had healthcare workers coming out strongly. We've had ASU members who've actually walked off the job on a strike for Palestine. Myself as an MUA member, we've been down the docks um, blockading Zim ships. I think, you know, there's a lot of uh, passion in the community. Well, I think we've built up a lot of, I guess, a lot of public knowledge about the struggle in Gaza and generally against imperialist powers and the aims they use to achieve them. People are turning out. We're getting bigger crowds. Um, sadly, we're also seeing how the government really reacts to our right to protest, our right to assembly, and they crack down hard because it's this year has really shown me that the current government, the Labor Party, don't really care about what the people are asking for. There's just such a huge number of uh, people here in Sydney uh, and around Australia that are, have, have not bought the lies of the mass media and, uh, you know, consciously opposing genocide. Um, they're standing up um, on the right side of history. And um, it really pleases me to see people coming out week after week. I'm happy to join in and support the cause and um, just, you know, let all the Zionists know that, that people are watching and they're opposing what you're doing. My name's Matu, I'm a nurse, registered nurse with the ANMF. And um, I'm here to support Palestine, but really to support the healthcare workers in Palestine, especially nurses in Gaza. We stand with them, we know they've been targeted, and we know that's a war crime. So we won't be silenced by our institutions. We will stand up and fight for the nurses of Palestine. Australians for a free Palestine. We're here to commemorate one year of accelerated genocide in Gaza um, by the Israeli state uh, and the Israeli occupation forces. We've been out here for the last 52 weeks and this week is incredibly important. We want to remind uh, our governments around the world and our Australian government that we will not go away until Palestine is free. First Nations people to walk aside, aside the, the Palestine people and fight for their fight exactly the same that we, we're fighting for justice in our own communities, you know. And the British, when they colonise this thing, the manufacturers build the bombs here, you know what I mean? So, we, you know, we've got to fight against the oppressed, you know, and, and stand together as one. We know as First Nations people, as standing here right now, I am still a prisoner of war. I am still a victim of genocide myself today with our displacement, with our continued mass incarcerations, deaths in custody, with our babies being stolen, with our waters being poisoned, with our land being taken. So the solidarity is the essential fight for freedom, for justice, for peace. And if it's my duty as a First Nations woman to stand here. It's not really a choice. It's actually my duty. You know, it really is disheartening, but 
it's really disheartening that we live in this day and age and this is happening and we get to see it live, free to air. As we know, the police, for a lot of people, think they're here for public safety measures, but they're here to enforce whatever the state wants. And the state does not want the masses to come out and to show their dismay for this genocide. So they've tried every avenue to repress us and to criminalise us, um, when the only people that should be in those jails are the butchers of Gaza. It's disgusting. I mean, they just keep on going lower. The Israeli Zionists, politicians, the police, supposedly free speech. It's hypocritical, it's utter bullshit. I still am shocked that I'm so much in disbelief. Uh, that this is still going on and it's, it's actually increasing and the violence is increasing. Um, the media has been absolutely despicable in, in Australia. I'm so ashamed of the ABC. Um, and I think we've just got to keep going because it's really important for us not to lose hope while these terrible atrocities continue um, because the people in Palestine are still standing strong. And so um, it's really important that we do as much as we can with the democracy that we have, even though it's failing us and them. We can't stop marching. And I don't mean just marching, because I mean all the things. We have to basically continue the work to educate more and more people and build these marches further. Actually, it will be the, when we have absolutely massive numbers on the street that we will be changing this world. We will be changing what politics there are, and we change it one way or another. We change what the politicians do, we change the politicians one way or the other. We are awake to this, and we're not going back to sleep. So we're here to protest, and we'll keep protesting until we see justice in Palestine. This is what we need, a huge united campaign to uh, to get the message out to the whole Australian people that our government must cut ties with Israel. It gives me hope that, you know, people are on the right side of humanity to keep coming out every week, but to know that the government is not listening to its people is fucking appalling. Excuse the English. But um, to know that the people are, you know, still out here, still coming, still solid, it, it really does give hope that, you know, things can change. The movement of people, the power of the people to topple government, it, it can happen. Oh, it's beautiful to see the solidarity to come together, especially in, in the Gadigal land, you know what I mean? And Nam and, you know, to see us all come together on one cause, you know what I mean? Fighting against the, the injustice of, of the, 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 these governments, you know, that are all, it's all about control. We've got to keep going. We've got to keep marching, we've got to keep telling the truth, we've got to try and break through the veil of lies. So break all ties with Israel, we're going to rally until we win that. This genocide has been greenlit and funded by a Western government, including so-called Australia. Yeah. Till this day, till this day, Australia can...